Georgie. Oh dear. Well, in an Australian first, doctors have used frozen ovarian tissue to help a 43-year-old woman fall pregnant. Doctors in Melbourne removed the tissue back in 2005 before the woman underwent cancer treatment. In April this year, the tissue was implanted in the woman who then ovulated naturally and now she is six weeks pregnant. Joining us now is the doctor who made this possible, Dr Lynn Burmeister from Monash IVF. Good morning to you. Good morning, Georgie. This is wonderful news, isn't it? Just, just explain, know, if you could, in, in, in greater detail what you've managed to do. So back in 2005, the patient came to see me. She'd just been diagnosed with invasive breast cancer. Um, her prognosis was looking rather um, grim at that stage. She wanted to have a family in the future. And the only thing that I could really offer her at this stage was ovarian tissue transplant. Now, this was fairly new technology back then, and there'd only been maybe one or two pregnancies in the world. In fact, I had worked in New York and was involved in the first case of ovarian tissue transplant, where we actually put the ovary back into someone's arm, which was unsuccessful in creating a pregnancy. So at the, the stage when I was performing the, um, the tissue extract from the patient, I didn't hold much hope that we would have a pregnancy. The tissue was taken very easily from the patient. I just performed a uh, laparoscopy, so keyhole surgery, to take a little wedge out of her left ovary. The scientist then took the tissue and cut it out into tiny little pieces, five by five millimetres, and this tissue was frozen. And earlier this year, uh, we put the tissue back into the ovaries by opening up the ovary and sewing the tiny little pieces back into each ovary. By about September of this year, the lady had a normal menstruation, and in um, October, uh, I put her on a stimulation that was safe in breast cancer because I couldn't use IVF, regular IVF medication, so I had to use a different form of stimulation, and I was lucky enough to collect two eggs. And wow. one of the, the eggs became a wonderful embryo. We transferred it and she was pregnant first IVF cycle. It so is, it's that, truly that, amazing. Truly amazing. Absolutely remarkable. How is she faring? How is she doing? I understand she's she, just over six weeks pregnant now. That's right. I performed a scan on Monday and we saw a heartbeat. It was just oh. a wonderful moment. Yeah, I can't it was imagine. just fantastic. I can't imagine yeah. how yeah. you both felt at that, at that moment. Yeah. Just quickly, yeah. it's very are you looking at using this treatment for, for all women, not just those who are infertile as the result of cancer treatment? Well, this is a possibility for the future. Maybe women don't have to suffer menopause. Maybe we can preserve a little bit of our tissue when we're 20 and have it put back in our ovaries when we're 50. So it, it, there is scope potentially in the future that women don't have to go through menopause. But at the moment, we are just using it for, um, for patients who are suffering from cancer and also patients, some patients who have um, a risk of early menopause, say if their mothers have gone through menopause in their 30s, that it would be a good technique for them to to potentially use to potentially preserve their fertility as well. Well it is cutting edge stuff and, and just so commendable. We congratulate you Dr Burmeister and thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you Georgie. Over to you Carl. Smart lady huh and great hair. Well